Hello, hello, my lovely collective. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Collective, we have Thanatos and the Mystic, the Gem, and Eros. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a mess. I got up this morning and I went and did yoga. And I probably should take a shower. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> collective. <laughs> Um, the Mystic and Thanatos, um, I just feel like there's this, like, seeing your way through something, I don't know, just, like, I don't know, I just feel like it's one of those things where it's like, okay, so the answer's not obvious, right? So you have to, you have to intuit your way through it, you have to, you have to allow for energy to unfold accordingly, because when you push and you try and get out, like you get stuck, like stop pushing, stop. You know what I mean? I just feel like this, like, just like relax into this, like intuitive knowing that you're experiencing right now. Um, some of y'all might be having dreams. I had some wild ass dreams, <laughs> but you know, like it could be that, you know, where you just wake up from this dream and you're like, oh my God, I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's like the um, arrows and the gem. Um, this feels like for a lot of people, you know, like how do I, how do I almost just like, how do I create a valuable relationship when I feel so stuck in whatever it is that's going on, like with whatever it is that you're dealing with? Um, Okay, collective. <laughs> the High Priestess. The Six of Pentacles. The Lovers. The Four of Wands. The Two of Swords. And the Four of Swords. I don't know. But this feels like... I mean, the High Priestess and the Mystic, again, with this like intuitive knowing... And I feel like there's just this idea of like, no, I'm not better off on my own when it comes to you. Oh, collective. <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's just like, that's a, that's such a sweet energy, you know? And I feel like sometimes, and I don't know, maybe y'all are like, dealing with like a long-term relationship you know what I mean and things have just been like tumultuous for a while and it's like sometimes things sustain a tumultuous energy because we never step outside of it and I feel like there's almost the sense of like okay but if you step outside of that energy you know <clears throat> can you glean the good from it all right um Because I feel like there is an idea of like, well, but, but like, wait, I feel like a yes, but, um, okay, let's do more clarifiers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Collective. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. temperance. Um, I, I think that yes, but is yes, but I've been working on myself. Yes, but I've been sitting around, you know, like feeling like I, I wasn't getting to where I wanted to be and trying to push my way through. I don't know. I just feel like there's no entry and it's like, you're trying to shove your way through thorns and thistles and you could have just turned around the corner and taken the door. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I kind of get this feeling of like through that like endeavor, you really do end up like having an understanding of doing things the hard way. You know, we are always our own worst enemy. <laughs> and I just kind of get this sense of like, 
paying attention to like where the struggle is coming from, right? Like if you slow down and you stop fighting, then you can see like where you can slide your arm down and how you can like get, like you got in there somehow, like you can get out, right? Just kind of that mentality, um, you know, but it's just that like, but I got to get out first. Um, and the temperance is just balance. Um, I feel like a balanced energy, like one that doesn't feel combative. I feel like there's a lot of, of passion and value um, involved. And I feel like for a, for a lot of the energy that I'm experiencing, I think that it's somebody who you have had in your life for a while now. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> Couldn't tell you. <laughs> you know? Um, but it's just somebody who I feel like you were having, like, there was no way you were going to, like, there's no breaking through this, this confinement. And I just feel like this, this like slowing down, this stepping back, this finding your way back out again, you know? Okay. Okay. Like, have you ever seen those? Or, like, even in real life, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, if somebody, like, a bug lands on them, like a spider, or if there's, like, a bat flying around and people, like, freak out, you know what I mean? And it's like, stop freaking out. You're making it worse. <laughs> but you have the Empress, Temperance, you know, the Six of Cups, I feel like it's just this idea of like, like this moment of freaking out that really like can find you in, in a, in a habit, in a cycle. It feels like it carried itself out long enough for it to feel like you were just like legit there. Like that's where I live now. Um, but then like intuitively just kind of like, I just feel like relaxing into it almost. And then as you relax into it, like you find that it's like, like oh, if I would have stopped flailing around everywhere, <laughs> you know, <laughs> me to myself, you know, so like no judgment, <laughs> but you know, it's real. Okay. <laughs> Collect it. <laughs> the temple. Oh, Jesus. Okay. The temple, the animal, the stone, the threshold and the comic. I feel an idea of there being like this, well, like that's not really what I was anchored in. That's not really what I was rooted in. And I just kind of needed to like go down that path to figure that out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, because what I, I just feel like this, like what I've always been rooted in, what I've always been anchored in has been moving forward, has been like, has, I've always envisioned something bigger and, and I don't know, I just feel like unquestionable, unquestionable. Like there is no question that you were rooted in something. I feel like someone, like, I feel like it's a conversation of whether or not you are like rooted into like a person or an experience or or like a job or however it plays out for you but it's like I, I feel like this very intense question of like like are you committed to that you know what I mean because that's it that is a commitment that requires a lot you know what I mean and it's like that's not for the weak of heart that's not for people who are just flitty and flighty you know what I mean like that's not for those people um and I just kind of get this feeling of like being committed to like being anchored in a beginning that like sends you in another direction. I don't know. I just think of somebody like joining the, like the Navy SEALs and it's like, you know, that you're not going to do you watch the, uh, is it the prime version of, of Mr. And Mrs. Smith and that show is kind of fucked up, but what? was the point of what I was going to say. Anyways, I don't even know. Oh, when they're doing the interview process in the very, very beginning, 
you know, like, it's like, are you okay with like, not, not speaking to anybody for X amount of years? Like, are you, can you like make that sacrifice? Like, and, and both of them are kind of like, well, we don't really have anything else to lose, but I don't feel like it's one of those, we don't have anything else to lose moments. I feel like it's one of those, like, no, I know what it is that I'm getting myself into. And I know that I can't anticipate everything that will come, but I also know that in order to really, like, this isn't one of those things that you just lightly commit to. You know what I mean? And I feel like you're making a really big decision on the, like, on the edge of feeling really stuck. I just feel like this liquefaction and this, you know, like, dripping out. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> anyways... If this does resonate with you, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Um, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.